to play. Here comes the sun by the Beatles and make it sound real. Now it's a wonder, since Liverpool is over there about 70 miles beyond the Irish Sea, that the Beatles didn't call this, Where is the Sun? Now you'll notice in that clip that the ukulele was wearing a capo on fret too. Now for the purpose of this lesson, I'm actually taking the capo off and we'll just play it in the key of G. So the song revolves around that riff that forms the introduction. So here it is, key of G, no capo, have a listen. So that sequence consisted of two runs through the main riff, with the second repetition uh, finishing up on a D7th chord. Now a single run through the riff is actually 30 string hits, 30 movements let's say of my right hand. Now it's not 30 notes because when you listen to this uh, in the next sequence, notice how I'm combining strumming and picking in order to give texture to the sound to recreate what was on the original record. Now let's run that a second time, but this time let's do a close up on the chord windows. Now what I want you to notice is that virtually every second stroke I'm plucking that G string. It brings momentum to the riff and it anchors it at the same time. And it's a classic example of what a low G ukulele brings to the table. Now if you do decide to go ahead and learn the riff and play it like I do, you're going to have to approach it as a series of alternative thumb and index finger strokes. So it'll be something like dum dee, dum dee, dum da, dum dee, dum dee, dum dee. And the more you practice, uh, the closer you'll get to being able to recreate the sound. But that's the approach that you need to take. Now one other thing I'd like to mention before we move on is the playing style that you need to use uh, when you're in the verses and accompanying the singer. Because while the riff that we've gone through is the foundation for it, we don't play all the notes as crystal clear as you might do in the introduction. You need to do a little bit more strumming and give a hint of the riff by picking out the odd note here and there uh, that sort of represents where that note would have been when you were playing the riff in its purest form. Now next up is the chorus, and it's fairly straightforward, so let's have a listen. Now at the end of the chorus, we have this link section that links the chorus to the bridge. And the chords I use here follow what the orchestral strings are playing that you can hear on the record. Here we go.
Now the cords for the bridge are fairly straightforward, but what you need to watch out for here is my finger picking style, because I'm going dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee that type of thing, where dum is the G uh, string and DD is a pluck of the A and the C string as I change the chords. Have a listen. <laughs> So don't forget to look in the description or comments below if I have any learning aids up on patreon.com slash channel which might help you uh, learn the song. So it just leaves me to say thanks for watching. My name is Greg, this is the Logi Uke channel and I hope to see you again soon.